Hi everybody, Dave Yellowwood with Homes Built Right. And in an earlier video, I talked about kitchen islands and the 2020 National Electric Code and how many outlets you need on, a, on an island starting in the new code. But uh, today I just want to cover quickly, what are the basic rules for outlets on an island other than the number of outlets required? Um, some people find this confusing, but it's pretty simple. Outlets can go in many places. They can go on the surface if they're rated as what I call the pop-up type outlets. You push them, push them down, they pop up. They're, you know, they're rated to do that. You can't have a regular outlet just facing face up on an island. That, that's not, or any counter cop. You can't do that. But uh, most uh, outlets on an island will be on the side or on the face, somewhere around a, on a face. That's fine. The code says, though, let's take out our measuring tape. It cannot be more than 12 inches down from the countertop surface. So if I'm measuring down, and this one will look, this outlet here is about nine inches to the center of that outlet, so that meets the code. I can go up to 12 inches down. The other thing is it talks about overhangs, okay? Wherever the required outlets on the island must go, I can't have an overhang, and we'll use this little tray, more than six inches. The code says I can have a cantilever up to six inches or less, and I can put the outlet within 12 inches down here on the side. That works. But we like, you know, little gathering places, little bar stools to come underneath here, and we'll have the cantilever 10, 12, 16 inches out. Well, then I can't put the outlet that's supposed to serve the island underneath here. It just won't work, and it's not safe. So that's why the code says no more than a six-inch overhang. So island outlets, we know the number of them. We know they got to be ground fault protected. No more than six-inch overhang, and no more than 12 inches down. That's the rules. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next Homes Built Right.